right, so we're about two hours in. We're driving from Texas all the way to Florida because we are shipping our car to Puerto Rico. We looked into buying a new car whenever we get to Puerto Rico. But yeah, it wasn't working. It was gonna be way too expensive. Cars in Puerto Rico cost anywhere from 30 to 40% uh, more than what they cost in the States. So that was gonna cost way too much and it's actually ironically cheaper to drive the car to Florida, spend shipping costs, and ship it to the island. So that's what we're doing. So it's a 14 hour drive. Um, so we're like, you know what, that's a lot. So we're just gonna stop in Mobile, Alabama, sleep there for the night. So today we have eight hours to drive. All right, so we gotta drive from here to here. And we're currently here. I've been driving for five hours. It's time to switch. It's your turn to drive, are you ready? No. That sign is upside down. We're in the ghetto. Where are we? We've been driving for seven hours. We haven't had to get gas a single time yet, so this car has a lot better gas mileage than I thought. So, yeah, first gas stop. Oh, I accidentally hit Supreme. Why? I accidentally hit Supreme. I was like, why is gas so expensive here? Because in Texas, the cheap gas is always on the left side. Oh, it's okay, I'm canceling it. I got a couple bucks of the Supreme gas. Oh my God. And then we'll put in the cheap gas. All right, let's try this again. We've been driving for nine hours. 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 <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, awful. I'm so tired. We're already grumpy. We're hungry. Yeah, we're not going to do a 15 hour drive in one sitting. So we got a hotel in Mobile, Alabama, and we're going to get some food at this restaurant behind us, take it to the hotel, and just eat and pass out. It's been hectic. Like, we cannot wait to get to the hotel to eat. We have never had barbecue in Alabama, but we shall see. Hi, uh, can we get the sampler platter? You sure can, what else for you? That should be everything. Oh, I'm sorry, can we get a Coke too? I was about to kill you. If you don't get my Coke, <laughs> we're gonna have a problem, let me tell you. <laughs> Did you record that? Look at that sugar daddy, ooh. Thank you. Y'all have a great night. You too. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food and I'm here for it. Yes. <sighs> All right, we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to sleep. Sir. Boom, boom. Okay, so how this works is you have to drop off the car by four o'clock on by Wednesday and then they will ship it the next Tuesday and then it won't arrive until the next Friday and then you can't pick it up until the next Monday. So it's a pretty long process. You gotta have all kinds of paperwork and all these documents and a bunch of other junk. We have to drop the car off by four o'clock and we are running a little late. It's currently like 2.30 almost, and we have to take the car to the car wash because they want to make sure the car is clean because of soil cross-contamination. And yeah, so you gotta make sure the car is clean. It's 
It's been a 15 hour drive. Start that from the beginning. I'm acting <laughs> stupid. I think this might be this. Ready? How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I'm all right. You are Johnson? Yes, sir. All right, so you drop off. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, she's gonna have to stay. I can't bring both of y'all. Okay. In. It's gonna have to be you. Okay. okay. Um, but after you drop it off, excuse my car, I'll take you right back in. Awesome. Okay. Do you want to take? Let me take everything out then. All right. So the guy is here. My escort. I'm gonna drop this car off, and it will never be on the mainland ever again, because once I'm done with it, I'm selling it. My escort guy is leading me past all the checkpoints. They're very particular about having less than a quarter tank of gas. So now when I pick it up, my car is basically empty. Well, that's it. It's dropped off and now we're waiting on an Uber to get out of here. It's going to be an expensive Uber. Thank you, man. Well, now that the car is dropped off, we have to get on a flight, go back to Dallas. And then first thing tomorrow morning, get on a flight to Puerto Rico. So it's been a busy day. It's gonna be a couple more busy days. We're shipping a car, yeah. so we drove it from Dallas to Florida. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Make sure y'all get a good little nap. Thank you. Well, it's been a very, very long day, but we finally made it back to Dallas. We're exhausted. Since we don't have a car, we had a friend come and pick us up, and then Hale started hitting his car real bad, so it's just been a whole process. We have to wake up in seven hours to go to Puerto Rico, so... All right, that's episode two. <laughs>